Boom, what is up everyone? This is Fluent aka J2 Mob bringing you some more College Hoops 2K8. Let's ball. So, um, we've got some stuff to do before our next game. I want to do individual uh, training here. So, I want some inside scoring, some shooting. Let's work on his mobility now that I have a better idea of what we need. Let's get some inside scoring for Webb and his durability. Doyle. Rebounding would help. So would shooting. Speed quickness. Bucky. Doing good with the shooting, keep that up. Durability. Jimenez definitely needs durability. Um, let's get some of that defense. Ferdinand. Let's give him some rebounding. Vertical lead better. Help him with inside scoring and shooting. Bronson. Inside scoring. Strength and vertical. Ernest Crisp. <coughs> to work on his shooting and his rebounding. Vertical. Elmer Irvin. Side and rebounding. Marty Goff, keep working on your shooting. Durability. Isaiah Hall. Defense. Quickness. Abasahan. Keep working on your shooting. Defense and balanced. WC Lori. Let's get a nice another balanced progression too. Should we try bonus drills? I don't know if this is going to work. Let's try a three point drill for Webb. Someone who can actually make them make five from the active marker. This is not as easy as it looks, folks. It's actually kind of hard. Oh my gosh. I'm not even in the circle. And get a copyright strike for this video. Oh, don't tease me. Don't tease me. They tease me. Too hard, these drills. So I think we'll just forget the bonus drill. No, let's try attack basket with Felton Murray. Attack the basket by executing the display dunk or lay a move. Each attempt must be taken from the active takeoff point on the floor. The control is relative to the player's position. 
Alright. Right trigger plus up is basic. Back is. Left is flashy. To the right is power dunk. Basic dunk towards the basket. Oh, I gotta get my own rebound. Power dunk. Flashy dunk. Basic dunk. Power dunk to the right of basket. Wrong shots to the type. basic dunks. So this can get the crowd ro rolling like if you do reverse dunks and stuff. Flashy dunks. I have no time limit so I can take my time to the left of the basket. This drill is pretty good. Oh, Felton. Power down to the right. So to the right would be... Boom. That's for the power. All right, cool. So we got a little 20% success. Oh. Oh. So we got by last game with a squeaker. Just got by. I'm gonna do some scouting of Jackson State. Something like through this day. We have a whole season of recruiting. Let's watch college hoops tonight. Got my energy drink for the next game. Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Greg Gumbel here with my partner Clark Kellogg. Coming up on College Hoops tonight, we'll unveil our choices for the top 10 mid-major teams in the NCAA, as well as tell you our pick for the player of the week. But first, let's take a look ahead at some absolutely huge battles coming up this week in college basketball. This should be a terrific matchup. Mm. Both these teams are fighting to improve their position among the nation's elite teams, and they're going to have to go through each other to do it. But that's not the only item on the schedule that has nice. NCAA fans buzzing. This game matches a pair of top 10 teams and is sure to bring both teams' fans out of the woodwork, not to mention a fair share of the national media. Looks like Memphis has the edge there. Memphis plays a brand of defense that should make the difference in this game. They are a tough, tough team to score against. And if you don't squeeze the orange, they'll take it. I think they'll be in top form for this contest. Now it's time to reveal our list of the top 10 mid-major teams in college basketball. Davidson 5-1. Cinderellas of the NCAA. 2-1 versus top, top 25. Bottom, not as strong as a list of the top 10 major conference teams, but one or two of them have just as much talent as any of those teams, especially the team in the top spot. Southern Illinois has a schedule that rivals that of any of the top power teams. The strength of their opponents has been just outstanding, and that's going to be a huge factor in their ability to survive in March. In playing one of the most difficult schedules in the nation, they've gotten a lot tougher along the way. Yep. And now to reveal the winner of our coveted Player of the Week award, who stood out above all the others this week, Clark? Panda put one of the nation's best teams on his back this week and carried the load. He had a performance that should go down as one of the best of the season. It was a magical week for him, Clark, no doubt about it. The fans really got behind him as the points kept piling up, wow. and you could see him feed off their energy. He's a cult hero to those people now, and if he has a few more... So should like Webb be after that uh, last Legends performance, Bay scoring pretty much all the points. That was a gritty game. Are we going to load here? Or? Cool. All right. 
Uh, so for this week, let's do some recruiting. Takes a lot of threes. Didn't make them, but that's okay. Big assist numbers, big points numbers. And we're falling a little bit behind on him. Theodore Hawkins. Charles DeWitt, we've still got in our back pocket. Athletic, defensive, some skills, some shooting, some intelligence. Not much potential though. Hornsby can score in the post at 6'6. Six, six. Can play him at the three. Decent vertical. He was putting up some numbers. He might be better than we think. Alexis Lambert is 7 1. We can catch up in this. Oh, we haven't even scouted his game yet. Paris Hale, we like. Can't shoot. He can rebound. He's got size. Mm. Vertical and strength. Not a great shooter, but he can get in there and bang. Dunk standing is nice. What dude? I don't know anything about except he could rebound a bit at seven uh, seven foot. And feist. Six eight two ten. Not the biggest size for a center, but kind of average. So let's see. I think Charles DeWitt. is the best talent so far. Only have a hundred points this week. Hmm. We're still in the running for this one. Let's phone him. Email him. Theodore Hawkins, B plus rebounding, B minus skills, but we're way behind. He probably wants to be close to home. I'd love to land him, but I don't see that happening. to wit. He likes to hit the three. He likes to drive a bit. Being close to home and feeling wanted. I don't know, but Vadim Hornsby was putting up numbers. Nine, six, 20 minutes. Shooting at 42%. 75% free throw. Three for nine from three, so he takes threes. I kind of like this guy, so let's visit him at home. And let's phone him. Alexis Lambert, we know nothing about. Paris Hale. We know nothing about. Oh, dude is huge. Where is he from Sacramento? Let's give him a phone call and an email. So let's give everybody an email.
Alright, we're done there. Now it's time for Jackson State. We've got every... Uh, scout them a bit. So let's see what they belong to. Jackson State. they belong to. With which wish we could have a day of scouting before a game or something. Southern Illinois, 24th ranked, wow. <clears throat> Jacksonville State. Davidson, 25th. And there's Jackson State. They're in the Southwestern, so let's look at player stats in the Southwestern. Jackson State, all right, so they're pretty balanced. Shooting guard. It's not a great three point shooter. Their power forward is leading scorer. Their point guard and their soft, their small forward can hit the three a bit. So they're balanced up and down. Nothing particular we have to worry about. I think we match up pretty well with them. I didn't do my recruiting, my uh, training, so we're all getting a basic balance day. Let's see how they rank here. Hmm. 70. All right, so I will be right back and we'll get into it. Oh. Let's get into it. <clears throat> So we have to win these games. Can't have any letdowns against teams like Jackson State. It's time for or five and seven. And if we beat either UCLA or Marquette, I think we'd become ranked. I would say. Or close to it. Let's not overlook Jackson State here. What do you think, Bill? The story here is the matchup at off guard. Akabala is an exceptional shooting guard. This guy is all heart. He gives 100% every moment he's on the floor. You've got to respect a player like that. Claire is a tremendous <coughs> shooting guard as well. He's such a hard worker out there, and he can do a little bit of everything. A great competitor, no question. Both looking to lead their teams to a win. We'll see who succeeds. We have the size advantage at pretty much every position, which is nice. They have a clean court. I like that it has all the unique courts, at least how they were in 2008. These are all um, handmade. What they really look like in real life, or what they did look like. Passes it to the wing. McClinton has it. McClinton is who he's got. We've got to worry about. But Bucky's pretty good. From 16 feet, collected inside by Morissette. He just didn't look comfortable on that shot, Fern, and you can see it in the result. Doyle goes to the crossover. Oh, that was bad. Marie catches it out left. Webb beats it to the corner, top of the key. Bounces it to the elbow. Ah. Away, and it's gathered up by Hacker. Great anticipation and quick hand. <laughs> it's a deuce the other way if you don't <laughs> take the basketball. Nice move and made on that last shot by McDaniel. Doyle inbounds the ball. They were able to score first, 
and hope the score sets the tone for the entire game. Well, Bill, let's just see what the response will be. Let's check in with our sideline reporter, Tracy Wolfson, who has some info for us. Well, just before the game, I talked to the head coach. He told me that they want to use their quickness to their advantage. He said they couldn't think of another squad that could match their team's speed, and he wants to make sure Five that shows tonight violation. by getting out on the break mm. and showing how fast this game can be played. <clears throat> Guys? Thank you, Tracy. He had nowhere to turn, Vern. His man was in his pocket the entire time and caused the turnover. Childress. Dumps it off. Dishes it to the right wing. Childress catches it on the elbow. Heavy pressure kept him from getting a good look. Tough miss. The crossover. Get right in there. Uh. Went after that rebound hard. Great work. Childress takes it up. Mm. Almost a three-point opportunity. Instead, he'll go to the line for two. So gotta be careful about this start. We can't let their six man get into it. They're not a great team, but they've won five games. Down the first one. Oh, I should have saw who they won against. That would have been interesting to see. If I could check those stats, see who they their comp their schedule looks like. From the low block, canned by yeah. Webb. They cut it to one. We'll have About court trap. and a half minutes left in the half. Here comes the trap. Mm, don't let Childress get an open three. Goes up. Jimenez pulls it in, but they still lead by one. Marie. Come on, post up, Jimenez. Backs him down. He's doubled up. Jimenez passes to the left corner. Well, Man, it drops. Well. They take a two point lead. McDaniel brings it up the floor. They're coming with a little half court trap defense right here. Here's the trap. Mm, Goes up. the drive. Ah. Can't convert. But he'll Let's look at righty, Jimenez. Shooting two. Gotta be careful with that. We don't want him popping the threes. One of them could shoot it. And he makes the first. Alright, so that half court trap is not. Far too well for us so far. Doyle, trying to pressure us. Marie passes it up court. Webb takes it up, hangs mm. it. Webb. They're now out in front by two. Under 17 minutes left in the half. Left wing. Skips it to the corner. McDaniel. It's deflected, but it's tracked down by Jackson State. Nice. Stolen by Webb. I'd love to see that. He was lurking around then. Mm. Such a deep burn. Try to go to the left of the basket and sneak it in there. Dumps it down low. Ah. That's his second personal foul. Uh, Doyle can stay out there with two. Shooting two. He's not going to get many more than that. This is the first. Both teams are making a few lineup changes. So I'm going to give someone a pep talk, too, before the UCLA game, which I think is after this. Maybe Webb get his confidence in 99. Good on number two. Two. On the Swicker to make his first stand off the bench. Doyle inbounds the ball. Not oh, loose. snap. And it's scooped up by Akinbala. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Flint. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep and then capitalize. They lead by one. Webb goes up. Lays mm. it right in. Webb. They're up nine to eight. Webb Under killing it early. Left in the half. Give me that. And it's gathered up by Jimenez. 
The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep it oh, man. Wait for the misstep. I with 12 already, all 12. Daniel brings it up. Swicker gets it right wing. Bounce pass to the stripe. That's who we've got to worry up. about. Got him guessing with a head fake and converted hey, by the Clinton. But they're still behind by two. Morris set backs in. Shoot it. Jimenez takes it up. Jimenez didn't get that rebound by accident. Ah. Right where to be. Tried to pump fake him a few times, but it went up with it again. We've got to be more sensitive with that shot button. Has it far side? Akinbala dishes to the corner. Zwicker. Drive. Hmm. He's got three. Doyle inbounds the ball. Marie passes it up court. Pulls the trigger. Oh, I thought he was fouled. Just over 14 minutes left. Try to do a layup there. Beats it to the wing. Watch McClinton. Gets it on the free throw line. He's feisty. Good deed, Doyle uh, Bucky. Swing pass, left wing. Nice block, Doyle. Corrals the miss. Oh, I switched back to it. That wasn't much of a look. You could see that one coming before he released it. Last shot missed by Webb. Leads him with the pass. The layup nice. was off target by Swicker. They're still up by one. Webb uses the crossover. Ah, wrong button, Bucky. Morris He's down there. It up. Pulls it in off the glass. McDaniel brings it up the floor. The defense was all over that shot. He had nothing to work with. I think we need a timeout. Right wing. Akinbala. Dishes to the left side. Nice block. Good on the last layup by Cook. Oh, the big fella with a tough rebound. No denying him on that one. Webb catches it, cross court, backs down. Jimenez releases to end their drought. Foul oh. hard, and he'll take a trip to the line. He'll take the foul. <sighs> that defender clearly got some contact as he tried to make the shot. Ooh. Yep, that's an open oh, and shot. playing case. well. He's got a nice crisp in there. I don't know much about their bench, but we'll find out pretty quickly. They seem to score all the way down the line, so. And he's going to come away empty from the line. Under 13 minutes left in the half. Wicker has it left wing. McDaniel dumps it inside. Bosley oh, I had him boxed inside. out too. Beats it to the left. Bosley with a nice rebound. Like it was no problem. What a battler. He did battle. Zwicker. Swicker wants to pop that three. Passes to the free throw line. Bosley gets it baseline. Gets it to go. They got on this roll a while ago and just have a back. Coach Davis saw something out there he didn't like and he called for a timeout. He wants to make sure that everyone is working together out there. It's just something like that. Web has all 12 of the points so far. 
Well, it looks like they're getting set to inbound the ball. <clears throat> so Doyle's at the two. Williams is at the three. I don't know, I feel kind of sketchy about this game for some reason. McElroy backs him down, gets it left wing. Marie dumps it off. And the run. Nice move. And he'll get two shots at the line. Should have went for a basic layup there. I accidentally went for the reverse, but I got lucky. He was fouled. It's hard to hit that shot stick in the heat of the moment at different angles from the basket. You really got to get used to it. I'm not used to pressing directly towards the basket much. I try to go left or right, and that changes the shot type with the right analog stick, in case you guys didn't know. You don't want to go for, he had a wide open basic layup. I didn't want to go behind, underneath the hoop. I got lucky though. So we have to watch this team, they're feisty. Doyle. It up. Oh, it come it on. So How'd he get back? Believe me, it takes tremendous athleticism to pull that mm, off. Don't get your third foul. That was tremendous athleticism. Doyle couldn't win a foot race. Children. Ah. Just missed it. No three point opportunity. That's it. He'll go to the line for two. Fourth team foul. Shooting two. He can't get the first. On the court. Both teams are making substitutions. <laughs> we need some threes. Miss it, Childress. Go over two. He sinks the second. On the court. Duhon checks in for the first time. Duhon. Williamson inbounds the ball. Marie tosses it up court. One on one. Nice pass. Puts it up. Oh, I did not mean to do that either. I meant to go in for a layup. About ten and a half minutes left in the half. Oh man. It Rushing it. Children catches it. High post. Dishes. High post. Nice. It's one on one. Can we score Six off our fast break? He knew exactly where the ball was going. Get some pressure. Drake has it right wing. Joseph is a great team. Down low. And it's scooped up by McElroy. You gotta be so careful with the ball down there, Vern. You have to squeeze it. Otherwise, that's exactly what can happen. Boom. That was just inbounds the ball. Children has the ball. Grit and grind right there. Try to disrupt the flow of the offense with this half court trap. Uh, Children's nice. Beats it to the wing. Oh, very rarely give me the M1. Bronson's been playing well, though. Can't sink the ball. Coach Davis made some changes that could affect their chemistry a little bit. I don't think these guys have played together very often. No, we haven't, but that's another thing that they don't show is chemistry. Different lineups develop chemistry. And if it's a lineup that hasn't been used often, then they'll have less chemistry. He got fouled and still almost made it. He'll go to the line for two shots. It's okay, we'll be alright. We've gotten decent players out there. Shut up, crowd. He makes the first.
And he splits the free throw. Give me that. Boxing that out. Way up court. Ledbetter takes it up. Oh. Pulls it in. There's Killing me. Do but shake his head on that one and Give me on. that. The steal by Ledbetter. Children <laughs> the best inside. Ledbetter's off to us. Sterling start here. Where's my five second tightly guarded call? Ah. Has it top of the key. Ledbetter can expend that energy because he's on a bench player. Duhon. Gets it in the corner. Gregorius Duhon. No, I don't know. Oh, he went right by me but got blocked. That came out of nowhere. Just goes to show you can't underestimate. No, I didn't mean to do that. How many times am I gonna screw up when do something I don't mean to do? It's early in the morning, I blame that. Not early, it's about noon, but I just woke up. Outright. Great with the shot. The bank shot won't fall. They're still down three. Nice little crossover. Dishes it to the wing. Webb. Bounces it to the high post. McElroy backs down. Hands it off. Let's it go. No good on the jumper by Crisp. But they're still up by two. <clears throat> I don't know how we're still up two with this. Bounce back. Display. To the line. Hacker puts it up. We're all tired. It's not it up. Williamson inbounds the ball. Webb causes it. Ah! Stolen away by Jackson. Draw a charge. Oh, the quick hands before they even knew what hit them. He made off with that one. Couldn't take the lead there. Missed by Duhon. And it's still knotted up 19. He's double team. Williamson. <sighs> Hacker boxes out well and snatches down the rebound. That's how you do it, Vern. Clear that space under the glass and pounce on that rebound. This might be another one. Too close to call for a while. Passes it to the wing. Great. Nice little crossover. Beats it to the top of the key. Bosley keeps it alive on the offensive end. Bosley How are we not grabbing rebounds? Like it was no problem. What a battler. They take the lead on the shot by Duhon. He's one for two from downtown. Webb. To end the drought, Bosley hauls it in. That's his fourth rebound thus far. Great. Ends it off. Kicks it out to the left wing. Passes right wing. Duhon. Hacker dishes to the right side. Out left. Spins. Fired. No way. The offensive How'd he get that? Dang it. That's the reach in ball. That's his first ball. The Titans are going to make some substitutions. They need to be cautious. Substitution. One more foul. Puts them over the limit. Great. Inbounds the ball. Kind of quiet this crowd. Swings it to the right wing. McClinton passes to the oh, corner. Oh, he New could have popped that. Who fouled him? No three point opportunity. But he'll go to the oh, line. Whatever. Shooting one and one. Down the first one. The Aggies will get a few of their starters back in the game. He gets them both. He brought him web. Oh, no Snatch foul. They're still too he bad. bodied me. Feeds right wing. Duhon. Can't get the three-pointer to fall. 
They're still up by five. All right, let's slow it down a bit. Work it into the big man. Under five minutes left in the half. Leads him with the pass. Duhon yanks it down. Get that out of here. And he goes out of bounds. Last touch by UC Davis. Great. Inbounds the ball. McDaniel dumps it down low. No good on the last layup by McClinton. The D was lurking on that one, and it was just enough to throw it off. Webb dumps it off. Goes up. Almost a Thank you. Opportunity. Instead, he'll go to the line for two. Shooting two. Can I get a call here? And he makes the first. Quiet down this rabid crowd. He's off on the Jimenez, why don't you go for that? You Just had perfect position. McClinton goes up. Oh, top of the key. Beats it to the wing. Who is guarding who? Guard your man. Right. Dishes to the baseline. Swing pass, far side, takes it up. Uh, Finger roll was laid in by Dumont. They take a six point lead. Morissette goes up, gets the finger roll to fall. And they're now behind by four. Great. Uh, it's the layup. They're now up by six. Takes it up. Oh my gosh, we can't catch a break. Anxious first half. Sometimes I'm gonna knock it loose and not get the steal. Passes to the baseline. Duhon shoots from the corner. It falls by eight. Here comes the double team. Williamson passes it up court. Rises and dishes. Then lay in with Thank you. Jackson State takes his first time out of the game. If we break the energy, we can get a quick shot. some D in this last two and a half minutes. Both teams are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. We're going to start the second half in pressure defense. Oh no, get back Ransom. is really struggling to close down the middle. Tracy has something for us. Tracy? The head coach is definitely aware of that problem. He told his assistants that Should've they have to that. bring more defenders I into got the him. Game, even if it means leaving the perimeter open. Desperate measures here, Vern. Thanks, Tracy. Akinbala skips it to the middle, takes the no shot. No way. Reeled in by Jimenez. That's his fifth rebound in this one. Backs in. Two minutes remaining. Two minutes. Dumps it to the middle. Jimenez uses the glass and it goes in. But they're still down by four. They're playing man to man here, Burn. Has it right side. McDaniel bounces it to the right wing. Akinbala. Yeah, run into ransom. You get out there. Couldn't get the shot, but he was fouled and gets a trip to the Come on, Bucky. Let him shoot that. I would have blocked it. Shooting one on one. It's not one on one. Shooting two. Knocks down the first one. You got someone 7 2 behind you. Let him shoot. I was about to swap that. 
and he'll come away one of two. Or <laughs> mess up like right there. Oh my gosh. Childress throws it up, can't connect on the quick shot. But they're still out in front by seven. Williamson backs him down. Swings it to the right wing. Yeah, this is the big man. Look at how. Come on. Fires from the right Ranzi. block. Swishes it through. Shooting over a chair. He's got six. 56 seconds left in the first half. Beats it down low. Akinbala has it right wing. They're hyped. They're snapping this ball around. They're looking for open shots. They feel they can win this game. Akinbala. Deflected. And it's picked up by UC Davis. I'd love to see that. He was looking around then pounced. Such a deep burn. They're going to double team him. Gets it down low. Shoots it. No good on the three by Marie. Jackson State is shooting it. Wide open look. All the turnovers. Tracy has something for us. The head coach looked downright disgusted after that last turnover led to yet another opposition bucket. He yelled three simple words at his guys on the floor. Protect the ball. All right, Tracy. Knocks down the first shot. Well, didn't sit for long, and he's coming back into the ball game. He gets the second to fall as well. Doyle inbounds the ball. It's oh, what? Game, and that'll be his second Daniel. steal of the contest. Daniel. That's the half. Wow. The score, 37 to 28. This is bad. What do you think of the first half, Bill? I can't think of too much. It's really bad. This game so far, maybe you can do play-by-play -play and color. They beat me at the foul line. Now we'll bring you our player of the half. Who's your pick, Bill? Duhan is my pick, Burn. He's led his team in the first half with outstanding play on both Duhan's not even a starter. I don't think he's done, though. I expect more of the same from him in the second half. Solid performance from our player of the wow. Do we really need to read the coach's notes? I don't think. We're attacking the offensive clan, but hardly any glass, but hardly any rebounds. Attack it more. When it hurts to go deeper down our bench, we aren't scoring off our pass break. I don't see them burning us off the dribble. More pressure on D. With the speed advantage in our favor, I want to see more fast breaks. Fine way to get to the line, yeah? Sounds about right. Right. Pressure them, and we're gonna fast break. And we're gonna crash those boards. Going full court press after a basket. Everything else seems about right. Committing a lot of fouls, and they're all balanced. Try to get it to Rand some more. We need other people to step up. So I'm smoking a cigarette here. Bronson McElroy is playing well. Everyone else is O for the game. Haven't gotten many open threes against them. Alright. We're 
all set to begin the second half, so let's get back into it. Need to play well. Doyle inbounds it to start the second half. Turn our offense a little bit. Down, down low. Ransom, a minute. Tracy Wolfson has some extra info for us. During halftime, I talked with Coach Davis. He told me his me team is ball. down, but he's going to push the issue even more in the second half to make a comeback. Coach told me that he wasn't going to play this next half by the book, and that he'll try things that some might call counterintuitive. I guess we'll see what he means soon enough. Back to you. Nice work, Tracy. Passes it to the baseline. McClinton beats it to the high post. Akinbala catches it right wing. It's picked up nice. by Marie. The intercept. What great reflexes. He pounced in and picked that one off easily. Mm. Misfired on that last three by Doyle. That's what we need, though. Akinbala. Knocks it loose, but it's recovered by Jackson State. Has it baseline. McClinton dishes to the left side. Oh, let this guy get a three. Daniel. Left side. Bounces it to the baseline. McDaniel. Good D. Dangerous pass. Oh. The layup was floated in. He's two for four for the game. The steal by McDaniel. Wow, another turnover. Inside. Hacker catches it. High post. Great pass. Dish the press right is wing. causing me a lot of problems. Tipped, but it's tracked down by Hacker. Defensive foul. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. Shooting two. I'll make him earn him. And he makes the first. Gets the second to fall as well. Doyle inbounds the ball. Leads him in. Morissette Second unloads. Morissette. Hits the jumper. Nice look by Webb. Four assists, and he leads both teams in that category. Children fires it. Way up. Boom. Stolen away by Jimenez. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep. Taste their own medicine. <laughs> They're bringing the double team. Intercepted. That's not usually the spot on the floor where you see the double so, team. There we go. But it worked there. Last shot laid in by Marie. He gets hammered. I had to get down there and say something that was stupid on my part. I saw it coming, but Jimenez had it covered. And he makes the first. He's checking into the game. He gets them both. Doyle inbounds the ball. They're bringing the double team. The Aggies with some difficulties. Takes it up. Corral <sighs> by McClinton. Strange as it They're may rushing me into quick That's only his second rebound layups so that aren't going. McDaniel passes it to the high post. Children. No. Hits the tray. They now have a double digit lead. About 16 and a half minutes left in the second half. Goes up. 
What? No foul. They keep getting blocks. And it doesn't look like they're going to let up anytime soon. McClinton. Oh, what am I doing? Gets the reach in call, and that is his third foul so far. When you're in foul trouble like this, it's impossible not to let it get into your head a little bit. I'm rattled. They got me rattled. McClinton inbounds the ball. Cook has it down low. No threes by Childress, please. Catches it, top of the key. Or McClinton. Dishes it to the wing. We can shoot for a big man. Good D. Yeah, let McDaniel shoot. McDaniel raises up and misses. What was that all about? Still a ten-point lead. Beats it to the left wing with the crossover. That's another rebound for a team that's doing a great job on the boards. They've got Stop a big ball. Nice today. block. Just the taste of their own medicine. Left in the second half. Oh, I did it again. Trying to draw fouls with guys that just aren't drawing fouls. Backs in. No way. You see, Let's Davis take our time and really run something. Jimenez gets it inside. Pulls the trigger. Snatched inside by Marie. Misses, but he'll get two shots from the line. <sighs> Shooting two. It's a 96% foul shooter. Making a few lineup changes. I need this team out there. I said we can go down the bench a bit. Let's get Bronson in. Ferdinand. He gets the substitution on the court. The Aggies will bring out some reserves. Cook inbounds the ball. He's double teamed. Throw it away. Zwicker. <sighs> McDaniel. Let's slow down their offense inside. a little bit. Hacker from the baseline. Doyle with nice D on that shot. Just over 14 minutes left in the second half. The D recognized the shot was coming and got out there on him. Nicely done. McElroy rips down the offensive oh, rebound. Nice. Slip up and in on that last layup. He gets up close and personal. And closes the deal. Leaves no room for error and no room for anybody to do anything about that ball. it. McElroy turns the hill ball. And the arrow pointing to the defense. <sighs> nice play to force the turnover. Doyle. Dishes it to the stripe. Marie dumps it off, tosses it up. Terrible shot. Footer missed by Williamson. Leads him with the pass. McDaniel shoots it. It's good. Nice lead pass to set that one up. He's shooting 60% for the game. McElroy has it on the inside. Skip pass, baseline. Williamson backs down from deep, yanked down inside. By Shouldn't have pump faked the first Did a one. Good job to grab that rebound. Perfect Get position it out. that time. UC Davis is really struggling. Webb goes up. Webb reels it in. Follows his miss. They rule this one goes in. Help the shot. Everything is hard against this team. The Titans are making substitutions. What am I doing wrong? Hack 
Hacker inbounds the ball. They're set up in enemy. Catches it on the strike. Left side. Passes to the paint. Oh, how? Nine points. And he's his team's leading scorer. Stolen by Jackson State. Such great instincts. He knew exactly where the ball was going. Wow. I think I needed a warm-up game. Zwicker. Right, gets it outright. Hacker. Duhon beats it to the baseline. Right drops it in from 13. And they're now up by 10. Doyle inbounds the ball. About 11 and a half minutes left in the second half. The leader was missed by Williamson. He can live with that miss. He was open, and he knows that he can make Just it more often than not. That last basket, trying to get fouls, but it's not Davis working. He is really struggling. With the shot. Reeled in by Webb from the left block. Where's the pump fake? <laughs> This is real bad. Hacker catches it on the free throw line. This is real bad. He uses the crossover. Bosley takes the shot. Can't get it to fall from 15. But they still lead by 12. Marie. <sighs> Webb dishes it to the right from about 19 feet. It doesn't count by Doyle. That's the shot you work for, Bill, even though he's not their number one option. The defense will have to show him some respect because he will hit that given another chance. Duhon dumps it off. Right block. Bosley almost a three point foul. opportunity. That's his second he'll first go to line two. He's dead on his feet. Foul. Shooting two. Is the first. Both teams will make some substitutions. Well, we can't get too caught up in one game. He misses them both. Marie. Backs him down. Feeds it to the perimeter. What a pass to stop the drought. That's his second well, let's try to pump fake, but I'll take it. I guess certain times you just can't pump fake. I don't know. Knocks down the first one. On the second, Drake catches it left wing. Duhon, six, what forty percent from deep. Williamson inbounds the ball. Right around nine minutes left in the second half. Hook loose. Wow. These people aren't loving it. You think it's getting 
loud in here or what? He should concentrate on just getting good position instead of flailing away at the ball like that. Biggest lead of the game. They baited me all game into that fast break layup that I've just been clunking. Has it left side? Not drawn fouls. And it's gathered up by Crisp. He was trying to thread the needle, Vern. There just wasn't enough space for that pass. Ledbetter passes to the left wing. Right wing. Williamson releases. Drops Williams. it in from beyond the arc. That was huge. He's one for three from beyond the arc. He's doubled up. Takes it up. Help defense. The roll was up and in by Where's the, the help? By 13. You see Davis is really not struggling. falling for it again. Dishes to the left. Chris goes dunk up. it. Hits the layup yes. after the pump fake freezes the D. And they now trail by 11. <sighs> Down 11. We need some Swings defense. That's not going to cut it. The shot was short by Drake. They still have an 11 point lead. Marie has it in the paint. Off target on the last layup. Pass. Baseline. Jimenez gets it top of the key. Marie goes to the crossover. No foul. He goes the court and he knows how to get by you. Just a superb all-round player. Physical talent and talent for the X's and O's. No double team. Right wing. Deflects the pass. Duhon dumps it off. Passes back to the free throw line. Hooked away. Uh, recovered by Good D. State. Good D. Williamson takes a three. Chris gets good position and corrals the miss. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Jackson State. The Tigers are going to shake course. things up a little bit. This is Coach Davis <laughs> might have decided to switch. He's down nine. We still can get this. Sure everybody's clear on the game plan. Turnovers. Well, let's get back to the action. The Aggies will get a few of their starters back in the game. You stupid person, fluent. Turn it over. These players don't look like they enjoy playing together at the moment, Vern. <clears throat> and that pass illustrates what I'm talking about. Akinbala catches it right wing. Try to rest a bit for Webb on this defensive end. Pass it to the free throw line. Here's the spin move. McClinton hands it off. Gets it inside. Good D. No good on a good board. By McClinton. About six and a half minutes left in the second half. Webb. Bad spacing. The wing. Webb has it top of the key. Bricks it off the front iron. There's Tried to hit it. Eight. Leads him in. Takes it up. Mm. Fouled hard there. He'll get two free throws. Shooting two. <sighs> and he makes the first. Marie got a quick breather, but they need him back on the floor. We need six minutes of just inspired play. Oh, this is another Portland State. Doyle is needed out on the floor. He didn't get much of a rest. 
Doyle inbounds the ball. Turnover. The Aggies were the last oh. to touch it, and they'll turn it over. That's not the kind of teamwork you like that to see kind of game. There. They need to get on the same page. We went on a little run where our full court pressure was getting right to them. Six minutes left in the second half. Since then, Pass they've weathered the that storm and. Childress. High post. Executed and caused a lot of turnovers for us. Childress. Off the mark thanks to the tight D. But they're still up by 11. Webb backs down. Bounces it to the left wing. Gorgeous pass. Webb gets it. Left wing. Feeds. Corner. And their D is good. Webb throws it up. Man, Out to baseline J. 19 points and he's the top scorer. Here's the double team. The nice. Turn this one over out of bounds. <sighs> Sometimes a pass like that can be the fault of the guy in the receiving end. But not that time. That was just a bad look. Doyle inbounds the ball. The Aggies with some abysmal stats. Backs in. Webb goes spot up for three. Webb. Goes up. Webb cleans the glass. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? He's tired. Here comes the double team. Jimenez gets the tie up. But the offense is going to keep it with the possession arrow pointed their way. Oh, I should have had that. Has it out left. Top we need a, nine, a five minute miracle here. McDaniel. Swings it to the wing. Cook catches it down low. It falls short. They're still up by nine. Doyle has it on the inside. To the stripe. Dishes no, I didn't mean ball. to shoot that. Morris set from deep. Jimenez grabs the rebound inside. Jimenez. That's why coaches want you to hit the glass when the shot is released. Good things happen when you keep that pressure on. It's tipped, mm. but it's retrieved by McDaniel. Right, it's in time. We need to inspire D right now. Shooters out there. Well, it looks like they're getting set to inbound the ball. Substitution on the court. I'd even be happy pushing it to overtime at this point. McClinton inbounds the ball. Leads him with the pass. Takes it up. Led him nicely with the dish. And it's laid in by Hacker. He's got 11. Right around three minutes left in the second half. Webb gets it left wing. Bounce pass, baseline. Ferdinand wants it. Williamson takes it up. Now. He gets Amherst personal foul. Got three minutes to get this done. Jackson State is giving us our second loss of the season. He makes the first. I don't know what I did. I guess it's just the unpredictability of college basketball. Striking again. He gets them both. 
McClinton inbounds the ball. They're going to double team him. The steal. I'd love to see that. He was lurking around then pounced. So nice. Williams. That last shot, good by Williams. That's a good start. He's doubled up. McDaniel, way up. Give me that. Stolen away by UC Davis. Up ahead. To the rim. So, Great Marie. finish by Marie. The streak continues with 14 unanswered. 14 unanswered? I don't know if that's true. Here's the double team. The Titans will take a timeout here. They're winning by three. Two on nine. Left in the game. They're getting set to inbound the ball. Oh, we made up a lot of work in 41 seconds. McDaniel catches it right wing. Two minutes remaining. Akinbala finishes it to the free throw line. Perimeter beats it to the baseline. The Titans were the last yes. ones to touch it, and they'll turn it over. It was too late when he realized he was on the line. You've got to be a little more heads up, Vern. Williamson inbounds the ball. 154 left in the game. Williamson skips it to the right. Listen to the crowd burn. This kind of excitement is why I love college basketball. Get it out. Pops. Let's it go. <laughs> Tied the game on the shot by Webb. They're still down four. Here comes the double team. Childress gets it. I'll right give Childress an open shot. Akinbala. Has it on the free throw line. Yeah, make him earn him. That web three would have been sweet. One and one? Really? No. Sinks the first Shit one. And that gives them a four point cushion. We just played bad. Look how calmly he sank those. Great job to make it a two possession ball game. He's double teamed. You see Davis he is really struggling. Webb mm. up and gets the three-pointer to go. McClinton inbounds the ball. Why use the whole shot clock when you only need a few seconds, right? They're bringing the double team. <laughs> High post. They want tacos? McClinton tries the spin move. Give me that. And it's controlled by UC Davis. Webb, the intercept. And one. Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my nerves are shot. Webb's tired. He's also somewhat clutch. Team, but with ransom out there for defense, well, let's get back to the I can't believe we tied this thing. Hacker inbounds the ball. Solid D. It's taking the last shot. Akinbala passes to the right block. Overtime. Regulation has ended, and we're heading to overtime. <sighs> well, that 
that's the team we're rolling with. Guys, tired and all. We got the miracle that we needed just to get it to overtime. I can't believe we're playing overtime in this game. Passing baseline. Marie catches it left wing. Williamson to put them up. And we have a lead. They lead 67 to 65. About four and a half minutes left in overtime. McDaniel swings it to the wing. Intercepted. Oh, the quick hands. Before they even knew what hit them, he made off with that one. Right wing. Beats it to the top of the key. Well, nice move. Boom. Yes, friendly bounce off the side of the rim. He's got 26. McDaniel brings it up. Stolen. Oh my gosh, we're up six. Great job taking it to the 10 against the smaller player. Send it in. The Jackson State coach is going to let his team We just need a rush of defense right now. run that they've had just now. <laughs> They're falling apart. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Thought last game was tense. At least we were kind of close the whole way. These guys were crushing me by as much as 14. Show some resiliency. Stolen! Not a good entry pass, Fern. You just can't force it in there. Pick it back out. Now we're the ones causing turnovers. Dishes to the top of the key. Boom! He's four for nine for the game. Nine point lead. And We've owned overtime. Game. What's been our biggest run of this game? I'd like to know what the run is. Swicker has it right wing. McClinton. Can't hit from the elbow. Usually, if he gets any sort of room, he nails it. If I'm the defense, I don't let him get another chance from there. Doyle passes it to the left wing. Dumps it to the paint. Marie. Well, that's not a bad shot. Give it back to, to him. Webb has it outright. Backs him down. Unloads. Can't extend the lead to double digits, but they're still out in front by nine. Oh. The Tigers I get the tip. Hit that steal button right at the pass is being made. Dumps it to the paint, puts it up. The offensive board gathered by McClinton. Just too much contact there, Burn. You're not going to get away with it if you affect the shot that much. So we just got to squeeze the orange, as they would say. Down the first Get one. out of this building alive. We stole this game. He gets the second to fall as well. All right, no stupid Go turnovers. The ball. Jimenez. Two minutes remaining. Why not? Launches one from beyond That's the why. He's tired. He's a great offensive rebound there. He worked so hard to establish position. Marie dishes it to the left side. And the same thing again. Swings it to the wing. Williamson backs in. The up and under. Hacker pulls in the board. Tough miss. Apparently, Just survive this thing. Not a guy you want taking that shot. Passes it to the top of the key. Make him waste time. Crosses it over. Swicker gets it right side. No open Go. shots. Catches it top of the key. Swicker bounces it to the top of the key. To the free throw line. 
Beats it to the baseline. Good D. Winding down. Rebounded inside by McClinton. Fired. Mm, McClinton. Get it out. Hacker keeps it alive on the Get it out. Yemen has to start. <laughs> oh my god. The stats are not going to show this game. What we went through. I can appreciate their willingness to keep battling Bird, but I think it's too late to save the game. Fouling isn't going to do them any good anymore. Go. Doyle inbounds the ball. The stats will not do this one justice. Of what we went through. This thing was down 14 with nine minutes left. We needed a three-minute miracle. It was 2:50 on the clock. We made up a lot of ground. Uh, oh, that's a bad miss. But a good rebound. We made up a lot of ground from 2:50 to 2:09, and then they got fouled and went up four something. And we just. Somehow hung in there. The Tigers with the what a win. Our confidence all should be raised to 99 after this thing. How we gridded it out. Dicey pass. McClinton, the crossover. Hacker has it. Baseline. Williamson grabs the rebound. Wow. Oh, my nerves were shot. Fighting through this game. No good on the first. We keep missing free throws, but it doesn't matter. Feeds right way. Children shoots. No luck. Wow. That's the game. <laughs> I can't believe it. We got lucky to just to get it into overtime. I put 26, three threes, six rebounds, five assists. Yeah, he was balling 10 for 30 from the field. Now let's go back to Greg with today's version of the Pontiac Game Changing Performance. Thanks, Vern. Welcome, everyone, to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel, and we're set to bring you the Pontiac game-changing performance. Seven and momentum one. Is everything in college basketball, and this game hinged on one big momentum yep, swing. Yep, that was a big play right Davis there. Maggie jumped off to a big run after knocking down this shot to take control of the game. Ferdinand did his thing, too. Run, they were able to parlay it into a victory. Thank you, Greg. That started the this run, and I think right after Felton Marie got a steal on the inbounds. We hope you enjoyed this presentation of College Hoops on 2K Sports. We did it dog tired, but dang it, we did it. I don't want to look at the stats. 37%. Oops. Only 10 turnovers, it seemed like a lot more, but we forced 21, that's what won us the game, ultimately. 40 points in the paint, 18 fast break points. You know, they did it balanced, we kept Duhon quiet in the second half. Clinton, Childerston, it was 1 for 11. Felton Marie, 15, 6, 3, 3, 2. Besides the five turnovers, that's a heck of a stat line. Dole didn't score. Bucky did his thing. Ransom, almost a double-double. Three blocks. Had a big contest late on Childress. Williamson with 14 and a couple threes. Oh, man. Yeah, my nerves are shot after that one. Next up, UCLA Bruins. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's
let's have Felton Murray work on his shooting and inside scoring. Speed and quickness, let's have Webb work on his inside scoring. His defense, definitely his durability stamina. Doyle, defense and rebounding at that position. Some speed and quickness. Bucky, inside scoring. Speed and quickness. Ransom. Defense, their ability. Ferdinand, keep working on your shooting. Some post play. He's got good durability stamina. Let's get him some speed quickness. Ernest, keep working on your shooting. Balanced. Bronson, rebounding defense and strength. Ernest Crisp, inside scoring. Your mobility. Elmer Irvin. Let's go for a balance package for you. Marty Goff. I say a haul. Let's go for a balance package for you. Obosahan, balanced. WC Laurie, balanced. Hoops tonight. I wonder if we're going to be mentioned yet. 7 and 1 with a win over Texas, New Mexico State. Hi, everyone. I'm Greg Gumbel at the anchor desk with my partner, Clark Kellogg. Coming up on College Hoops tonight, we'll take a look at the upcoming big games of the week in College Hoops, as well as take a look at all the exciting games of the week. But let's start off with who we selected for our NCAA Player of the Week. Panda has already been our choice before, and here he again. is again. There are very few players look at Nickel who can State make it almost once, beating them. Getting on it multiple times. We be beat Nickel State. What a special talent he is. Wish Nickel State would have beat them. That'd look better for us. Now let's take a look ahead to the games that get top billing on the schedule. In the <laughs> look days at this. To come. This should be a terrific matchup. Both these teams are fighting to improve their position among the nation's elite teams, and they're going to have to go look through each this. other to do it. They mentioned UCLA us. Would be my pick here. They are so strong on the inside that I believe they'll be just too tough to match up with. It will really surprise me if that talent discrepancy on the inside doesn't tell the tale of this game on the inside that's not the only item on the schedule that has NCAA fans one. buzzing I'm looking forward to this game just like everybody else this matchup has the possibility of becoming quite a little rivalry because these teams match up so well against each other and it's always a heated atmosphere when they're on the court together Seminoles three and two in their last five though Now let's turn our attention to some of the action of the oh, past Memphis week in the NCAA with our games of the week. We were treated to a matchup between two teams in the top 25. Georgetown did away with Memphis. Those threes. Most of love games like this. It makes their job easy. When you've got two ranked teams like this going up against each other, you can just sit back and see who should go up and who should move down. Georgetown really muscled up down low and was able to convert a lot of easy chances close to the basket. Whether it was the big men or the guards, they made the most of their opportunities. They established their inside presence from the start and were able to rely on getting their points down low throughout the game. And Although this next threes. contest seemed predictable enough, one of the best teams in the wow. country suffered a severe shock to the system. Georgia Tech toppled Kansas. This is one of those upsets that no one could predict here, Greg. Kansas was sitting pretty as a top five team, but Kansas hit nine threes too. After a loss like this. May was absolutely unstoppable. His 24 points led all scores. They needed an effort like that to get this win. He saw all sorts of defensive looks, but Looks no like matter LeBron what he out had, there. He handled it and handled it well. That'll do it for us here in the studio. For my partner, Clark Kellogg, I'm Greg Gumbel. Thanks for watching College Hoops Tonight, brought to you by State Farm, the number one auto insurer. Enjoy the exciting week of College Hoops action to come. <laughs> so they know this is a big matchup because if we beat UCLA, 
we should get ranked. How many points do we have this week? 102. see last time to wit let's see how his stats are C's and D's and stuff but then over here they're B's he wasn't putting up great numbers Borges Pepperdine offered him a we can't visit him at home Probably out of the running for Wadud. Let's visit him at home and get some scouting on him. Come on, Feist. Hale are the only ones after him. He's got good size, junior college sophomore, he could jump right in and play. Alexis Lambert, now this is one we don't know anything about, but can we do anything with anybody else? Target list and look at. Oh, see if there's anybody else with interest. Chad Gross. numbers and shooting well. We're far behind, but name to the target list. So let's go back to the target list. We have six phone calls to make, so let's call Hornsby. Let's call DeWitt. Two. Scholarships to give. Oh man, number two, UCLA. Ten and one. Let's see what the matchup's going to be. Eighty-eight. Overall, with a 71 team unity, oh my goodness. <laughs> We're going to scout them next time. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. We'll scout UCLA, see what we have to look out for. Maybe pressure them from the tip to try to get an advantage. Are we playing at UCLA? At UCLA. And then at Marquette, who's now number five. And then we get into conference play. 
Alright, see you guys next time. Peace out.